And we also have uh, more information we're learning this evening at, as what can only be described as a gruesome murder in Fond du Lac County where a mother was strangled, her body burned and dumped in Lake Winnebago. Her ex-boyfriend, Brandon Miller, charged today with her murder. 28-year-old Renee Redmer had been missing since January. Miller's mother and her friend were charged yesterday with being accessories to the crime. Fox 11's Lou Hillman has the new details tonight. Investigators say it all started at this apartment in Fond du Lac, where Brandon Miller allegedly strangled his ex-girlfriend, Renee Redmer. The home belongs to Miller's mother, Nancy Pinot. She was charged Tuesday with helping cover up the murder. I was shocked. I mean, I don't know her personally. It's just living here so long, they always do background checks and make sure everything's on the up and up. I just... <laughs> It's shocking. I don't like it. Investigators say Miller became concerned that too many people knew about the alleged murder. They say that's when he brought Renee Redner's body to this home in rural Fond du Lac County. It's where his mother's friend Donald Worth lived. Investigators say Worth helped Miller burn the body and then dispose of the remains through holes in a frozen over Lake Winnebago. Worth was also charged Tuesday for helping cover up the crime. Detectives say they recovered human bone fragments from a burn barrel taken from his property. Because DNA uh, is uh, significantly affected by heat, uh, we don't uh, reasonably expect uh, DNA evidence from the bone fragments, but uh, we are doing all testing that is possible. Necessary evidence if the cases go to trial. Miller was charged Wednesday morning for the alleged murder of his former girlfriend. The 36-year-old Brookfield man is being held on a $1 million cash bail after prosecutors successfully argued his long criminal history makes him a potential flight risk. Fond du Lac County District Attorney Dan Kaminsky, however, is still saying little about a motive for the crime. Well, I'm not uh, going to discuss uh, any other details of the case other than what's stated in the criminal complaint. The defendant and the victim had a, um, a dating relationship. What went wrong is still unknown, but prosecutors say they just want to make sure everyone who is involved is brought to justice. In Fond du Lac County, Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. If convicted, Miller faces mandatory life prison sentence and an additional 12 and a half years behind bars. His public defender declined comment for our story.